Hi, my name is Pavel. I'd like to share some of our most recent research results at the intersection of computational photography and image forensics. Image forensics involves analysis of microsignals left by the camera ISP, lossy compression, or photo manipulation. Analysis of these traces allows to answer questions about the origin, integrity, and processing history of digital photographs. Each step in the image acquisition pipeline leaves characteristic traces. However, in this presentation, we will focus at the sensor level. First, we have to decide, define PRNU. PRNU stands for photoresponse non-uniformity. Essentially, it's a static noise pattern left by the sensor. It's unique for each imaging device and can serve as a fingerprint. Analysis of noise residuals from individual images allow to do source attribution and manipulation detection. It's currently one of the most reliable tools in image forensics and the only one to satisfy the Dobert standards for evidence admission in court. Additional applications include the anonymization of photo pedophiles and criminals in darkened forums, finding stolen images and cameras, or as an additional factor for user authentication. Key limitations include the lack of security, unexpected privacy leaks, limited robustness, and low resolution of manipulation detection. Unfortunately, increasing adoption of computational photography starts to break forensic analysis. Analysis of peer new fingerprints may eventually become obsolete. However, we believe that computational cameras can actually be used to address this problem. Advances in deep learning allow to model the entire workflow, starting from photo acquisition through distribution up to forensic analysis. Individual components like the sensor or the ISP can be optimized for various applications. For example, the camera ISP can be fine-tuned to leave traces that are useful for manipulation detection. Computational sensor enable running low-level algorithms directly at the raw pixel level, which allow us to syn synthesize better sensor fingerprints. Our experimental setup includes a high-fidelity simulation of the entire workflow. Our simulation includes two sensor models for standard PRNU and a CNN-based computational sensor. We then use a standard ISP with neural demo psyching and a differentiable JPEG codec. Finally, we use a standard PRNU detector and a forensic CNN. Essentially, our workflow performs fingerprint embedding at the raw level and then processes the image through the ISP, through the JPEG channel, and finally performs forensic analysis. We summarize our key results as follows. We focus on challenging conditions with small image blocks and lossy JPEG compression. On the left-hand side, you can see the detection distortion trade-off, and you can clearly see that computational fingerprints deliver much better detection performance and maintain higher image fidelity. On the right-hand side, we compare ROC curves for similar SSIM level. Again, you can see that computational fingerprints deliver much better performance. We compare the visual impact of the fingerprints in the following figure. On the left-hand side, you can see the images with the peer in your fingerprint. On the right-hand side, you can see the images with the computational sensor fingerprint. You can see that there is no visible quality degradation. In the bottom row, we compare qualitative differences between the embedded patterns. To summarize, forensic analysis relies on intrinsic statistical traces in legacy ISPs. Computational photography challenges manipulation detection techniques and may render them obsolete. However, it can also help us include explicit security and privacy objectives in camera design. We show that even simple models can work in challenging real-world conditions. For example, we were able to get good detection results for small image blocks and strong JPEG compression. At the same time, the impact on image quality remains negligible. We believe this is an interesting opportunity for interdisciplinary research with real-world impact. We want to collaborate. We're looking for a cooperation with professionals involved in camera design and manufacturing to work towards practical solutions with real-world constraints. We're developing an open-source neural imaging toolbox, which allows for modeling and optimization of entire imaging workflows. If you're interested in this topic, feel free to check it out. Thank you for your attention. If you're interested in this space, feel free to take a look at the following references or reach out at the following email address. Thank you.